<laughs> In the quiet town of Ravenswood, a haunting melody echoed through the night, its origin unknown. Every resident could hear it, a mournful tune that seeped into their dreams, leaving them restless and disturbed. Whispers of an ancient legend began to circulate among the townsfolk. It spoke of a cursed musician, a violinist whose soul had been bound to his instrument by a vengeful spirit. It was said that his music could control the dead. Belina, a talented young violinist, moved to Ravenswood, drawn by the mysterious melody. Fascinated, she delved into the town's history, determined to uncover the truth behind the legend. Elena stumbled upon an old journal that revealed a dark pact made centuries ago. The musician had traded his soul for unparalleled talent, unaware of the dire consequences. The vengeful spirit demanded souls in return, binding him to an eternity of darkness. One night, as the moon hung low in the sky, Elena found herself compelled to play her violin in the town square. Her music mingled with the haunting melody, and the ground trembled. Shadows danced around her, and the spirits of the dead rose from their graves, drawn by the ethereal music. The spirits, trapped between worlds, listened to Elena's performance with hollow eyes. They longed for release, their voices joining the melody, creating an otherworldly chorus that sent shivers down the spines of those who heard it. Elena realized the consequences of her music, yet she felt a strange connection to the cursed violinist. She made a perilous decision, striking a bargain with the vengeful spirit to free the trapped souls. Little did she know that the spirit had darker plans in store. The haunting melody grew more potent, consuming Ravenswood in its chilling embrace. The town's once peaceful atmosphere transformed into a realm of shadows and despair. The sinister symphony echoed through every street, driving the residents to the brink of madness. Belina, tormented by guilt, sought the help of a reclusive occultist. Together, they devised a ritual to break the cursed violinist's pact. They gathered ancient relics and performed incantations, hoping to sever the connection between the musician and the vengeful spirit. The night of the ritual arrived. Elena faced the cursed violinist in a spectral confrontation, her music battling his. The air crackled with energy as their melodies clashed, and the varied fabric of reality seemed to tear apart. In the midst of their battle, the fabric of reality shattered, creating a rift between worlds. Nightmarish creatures poured into Ravenswood, drawn by the chaos. The town became a battleground between the spectral forces and the residents flood, their screams drowned out by the cacophony of the supernatural war. Alina and the violinist found themselves in the ethereal realm, a place between worlds. Shadows loomed, and the vengeful spirit revealed its true form, a monstrous entity fueled by centuries of hatred. It sought to consume both the violinist and Alina, absorbing their souls to strengthen its power. In a desperate move, Alina sacrificed her violin, the source of the haunting melody, to create a barrier against the vengeful spirit. The violinist, realizing her bravery, played a final, mournful tune. The music formed a protective cocoon around Alina, shielding her from the spirit's malevolence. Alina, now imbued with the violinist's power, faced the vengeful spirit in a battle of souls. Melodies clashed, creating shockwaves that reverberated through the ethereal realm. With every note, Alina fought to contain the spirit's wrath, her determination unwavering. In a moment of vulnerability, Alina glimpsed the spirit's tragic past, a life marred by betrayal and despair. Touched by compassion, she extended a hand of forgiveness. The vengeful spirit hesitated, its anger giving way to sorrow. In that moment, the spirit's form wavered and a glimmer of humanity flickered in its eyes. The vengeful spirit, torn between its malevolent nature and newfound remorse, began to unravel. Darkness seeped from its form, dissipating into the void. With a final, mournful wail, it vanished, leaving behind only echoes of its anguished existence. With the vengeful spirit gone, Alina and the violinist faced the challenge of closing the rift between worlds. 
They played a harmonious melody, channeling their combined power to mend the fabric of reality. Slowly, the rift sealed, restoring Ravenswood to its former tranquility. Alina bid farewell to the violinist, their souls intertwined by the events that had transpired. With a bittersweet smile, he vanished, his music fading into the distance. Alina returned to Ravenswood, forever changed by her encounter with the supernatural. In the aftermath of the supernatural ordeal, Ravenswood began to heal. The town's once terrified residents found solace in one another, their shared experience forging bonds of camaraderie. The haunting melody, once a source of fear, became a testament to their resilience. With newfound determination, the townsfolk set about rebuilding Ravenswood. Homes were restored, and the laughter of children once again filled the streets. The town's spirit remained unbroken, a testament to the courage of those who had faced the darkness together. Alina, now a respected figure in Ravenswood, shared her story with the world. The tale of the cursed violinist and the vengeful spirit became a cautionary legend, a reminder of the consequences of dark bargains. The story inspired generations, teaching them the importance of compassion and forgiveness. Years passed, and Ravenswood flourished. The town's tragic history faded into memory, replaced by a vibrant community. Yet the supernatural world remained, its presence felt in the subtlest of whispers and the occasional haunting melody that drifted through the night. Unknown to the residents, unseen guardians washed over Ravenswood. Ethereal beings, bound to the town by ancient oaths, protected it from supernatural threats. They remained vigilant, ensuring that the town's newfound peace endured through the ages. Beneath Ravenswood, forgotten relics lay hidden powerful artifacts that had once belonged to ancient civilizations. These relics held immense supernatural power, dormant, and waiting for the day they would be discovered by curious hands. A group of archaeologists, drawn by rumors of ancient artifacts, unearthed the relics beneath Ravenswood. Unaware of their true potential, they inadvertently awakened the dormant power within. The town's tranquility was once again threatened, as the relic's magic stirred the supernatural forces that lingered. The awakened relics unleashed a wave of darkness that spread through Ravenswood. Shadows crept along the walls, and malevolent spirits roamed the streets. The town's residents felt the shift in the air, their unease growing with every passing night. Alina, now a guardian of Ravenswood, sensed the impending danger. She gathered a group of gifted individuals, each possessing unique supernatural abilities. Together, they formed a pact to protect the town from the unleashed darkness, vowing to stand together against the looming storm. The group faced trials that tested their courage and unity. They ventured into the ethereal realm, battling vengeful spirits and ancient entities. With each trial, their powers grew and their bonds strengthened. They embraced their roles as protectors, ready to face whatever darkness threatened their home. Amidst the chaos, a member of the group succumbed to the darkness's temptation. Betrayal stained their hands as they sought to harness the relic's power for their own gain. Their actions unleashed a malevolent entity, a being of pure shadow and malice, that threatened to consume Ravenswood. In a desperate attempt to banish the malevolent entity, one of the group members sacrificed themselves. Their selfless act created a barrier that contained the darkness, but at a great cost. The remaining guardians mourned their fallen comrade, their resolve to protect Ravenswood strengthened by the sacrifice. To strengthen their defenses, the guardians delved into ancient texts, uncovering a forbidden ritual that could seal the malevolent entity permanently. The ritual required immense power and a willingness to face the darkness within one's own soul. With grim determination, they prepared for the dangerous endeavor. On a moonless night, when the darkness was at its peak, the guardians performed the forbidden ritual. Shadows danced around them as they chanted incantations, their voices merging with the ethereal winds. The malevolent entity fought back, its rage echoing through the night, but the guardians stood firm, their unity and courage unyielding. As the ritual reached its climax, 
Each guardian faced a personal trial within the depths of their own psyche. They confronted their deepest fears and regrets, embracing their flaws and strengths alike. The battle within mirrored the struggle against the malevolent entity, their inner demons becoming their greatest adversaries. With their inner battles won, the Guardians emerged from the ritual, their beings infused with newfound power. They glowed with ethereal light, their eyes shining with determination. United and empowered, they faced the malevolent entity in a final showdown ready to banish it from Ravenswood once and for all. The battle against the malevolent entity reached its climax in the town square. The guardians stood in a circle, their hands joined, channeling their combined energy into a blinding wave of light. The entity roared in defiance, its form writhing and contorting, but the guardian's light pushed back, enveloping the entity in a radiant cage. In its final moments, the malevolent entity's rage gave way to a profound sadness. It had been a creature born from the darkest corners of existence, a shadow that hungered for the light it could never possess. The guardians, sensing its torment, extended a hand of compassion. Touched by the guardian's empathy, the malevolent entity released a mournful cry before dissipating into the light. Shadows dispersed, vanishing like smoke in the wind. Ravenswood was free from the darkness that had plagued it, and the town's residents felt a renewed sense of peace. With the malevolent entity gone, Ravenswood flourished once more. The scars left by the darkness began to fade, and the town's spirit rejuvenated. The Guardians, hailed as heroes, became the town's protectors, their legacy inspiring future generations to stand against the forces of darkness. Ravens would bask in the embrace of tranquility. The haunting melody that had once echoed through the night transformed into a soothing lullaby, a reminder of the town's resilience and the triumph of light over darkness. The town's residents slept peacefully, no longer haunted by nightmares of malevolent shadows. The guardians, now seasoned in their roles, took a solemn oath to protect Ravenswood and its residents. They vowed to stand as sentinels against any supernatural threat, their bond unbreakable, their purpose unwavering. The town rested under their vigilant watch, secure in the knowledge that they were never truly alone. Having fulfilled their purpose, the ancient relics were returned to their resting places beneath Ravenswood. The artifacts, once sources of great power, lay dormant once more, their secrets hidden from prying eyes. The town's guardians ensured that the relics remained undisturbed, safeguarding them for future generations. Ravenswood's residents expressed their gratitude to the guardians, their hearts brimming with endless thanks. The town held a grand celebration in their honor, a festival of light and music that echoed through the streets. The guardians stood amidst the festivities, their smiles reflecting the joy they had brought to the town. The unity forged in the face of darkness remained a cornerstone of Ravenswood's identity. The town's residents stood together, their differences celebrated rather than feared. The supernatural and human worlds coexisted in harmony, their interactions guided by understanding and acceptance. The Guardians continued their eternal vigil, watching over Ravenswood with unwavering dedication. Their presence was felt in the gentle rustle of leaves and the soft glow of moonlight. The town's residents knew that, as long as the Guardian stood sentinel, Ravenswood would remain a sanctuary of peace. In the annals of Ravenswood's history, the tale of the Guardians and their battle against darkness became a cherished legend. It was a story passed down through generations, a reminder of the town's indomitable spirit and the triumph of light over the shadows. And so, Ravenswood stood as a beacon of hope a testament to the power of unity and the enduring strength of the human spirit.